Breaking news as the US FAA has approved special conditions for the Airbus A321 fuel tank design certification. It is important to note that this is an approval for the conditions that the fuel tank will be subject to under testing and not an approval of the actual fuel tank design. The A321 XLR will still need to undergo the test to receive its type certification. Originally intended for entry into service in late 2023, the entry into service has now been pushed back to 2024, at least due to Airbus stating additional time needed to certify the XLR. It was Boeing, in fact, who initially mentioned that the design of the new permanent rear central tank would pose a fire risk under emergency situations. These include ditching or belly landings. EASA looked into this claim and agreed, forcing Airbus to look into solutions to prevent the fire risk and give passengers enough time to evacuate in the case of belly landings or damage to the rear central tank. In a most recent filing, the US FAA stated that it would require the lower floor of the aircraft above the rear central tank to be resistant to fire penetration. This is so as to protect the aircraft's passengers. The reason is that the plane was designed with a rare cargo hold initially. Instead of installing auxiliary fuel tanks, Airbus designed a lightweight rear central tank that was lighter and carried more fuel all while taking up less space. However, as the A321 was not initially designed to carry fuel in the fuselage, there is no intersection and no insulation between the passenger compartment and the fuel tanks. Previous A321s only carried fuel in the wings, with proper insulation between the wings and fuselage. Despite this, Airbus claims that the XLR would still have the same class leading range, though this latest ruling would most certainly mean either higher weights if more insulation is installed, or higher maintenance costs if new materials are used in the fuel tanks. Overall, with more certainty in certification standards, Airbus is now able to work towards certifying it by 2024 and delivering it. Will the range be reduced, and if so, by how much? Do let me know in the comments below and till we meet next time, one team, one aviation, one sky hit.